Walk me into uh, a moment of uh, when you're on the clock, you and Gruden and what you guys do together, how you work together. That is a, a, a fascinating subject for a lot of observers. I'm, I'm sure you're, you might shrug your shoulders as to the question as to why, but you know, as you know, you're the head coach that uh, you are uh, evaluating with is a fascinating figure in this league. Walk me, th- what is that like when you're on the clock and the Raiders and you and Gruden are in the draft room together? Mike? Well, well I, most of the work ought to be done before the draft starts. And you ought to have a plan. And, and obviously, the plan changes at different times. And, and for us, what was kind of cool, you know, we knew we were going to go get Leatherwood in the first. And whether or not we traded down was going to be up in the air. I was hoping to trade down, and, and it didn't work out. However, the next day, you know, we've got to, we, again, you, you go home that night, and we're sitting at 48. You know, and we're thinking about there's three pretty good safeties out there, and, and the number one on our list was uh, Trayvon um, Merrick. And I thought he was going to be one of the first two or three picks on the second day because we thought he was going to be going on the first day. And he starts sliding a little bit, mm-hmm. and John and I are kind of looking at the board and going, okay, Dallas is at 44. He probably won't get past Dallas. Um, so we, I picked the phone up and started calling and had had a conversation with San Francisco earlier that day who was at 43, you know, before the draft started. And uh, we talked a little bit about a flip right there. They wanted to potentially move down. We might want to come up. So that was kind of discussed in advance. I got Adam Peters on the phone, um, who's an outstanding scout, and and, and John Lynch's assistant. Uh, And Adam and I kind of worked it back and forth. And sure enough, Mary made it to 43, and and John and I couldn't have been happier. So we traded up in two, and we traded back up in four because another safety who we had a big grade on slid down to the bottom of four. And that's uh, Tyree Gillespie from Mizzou. So the, I think the fun part, Rich, was you kind of know what you want to do and what, how you're trying to attack it. But when things come up that you don't expect, how do you react? Well, and go- John was awesome. I, I was just like, John, we got to go get this guy. Mm-hmm. And he was all in. And the same thing in the fourth round. He was all in. So um, that's what, to me, that's the most fun part of the draft is when you get thrown kind of a curveball and how do you react to it? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.